Hi all! Today I'm going to do some testing with very large simulations. This is going to be 180 by 180 and then I'm going to try some different rules and also a new seed or maybe even a couple of seeds. Let's see how it goes. But for example this is now cells with 4 or 5 neighbors will get born and also 15. And as we have previously seen, with the 15 cells, circular shapes will start to emerge here. So as we can see here, this is a little bit circular, also here, and then the edges. It's not really a square or a circle, but some sort of a petal or flower which expands outwards. And I will show you how this goes from the beginning. Let's use a little bit higher speed and press spawn. And at the start we can see the seed, when the simulation starts, let's hit pause. And this is the simple seed I'm going to work with today. And when I press play, we can start to see how the seed expands from the initial state. Also today I'm using a little bit different simulation cells. These are the simple ones with dark color on the edge, so that we can clearly see the individual cells. And this is already quite nice. So as I said, this is 4 and 5 and 15 with the bird setting. And this is the result. And this is quite nice. Very different shapes emerge at different points of the simulation. And it seems that it's quite complex and ever-changing. It doesn't seem to repeat at all. But instead, now it looked like a snowflake or something for a while. And maybe this is even better than with the when we have also three, three and five seem to be expanding a little bit, maybe too violently. But when we exclude the three and have only four and five and then some bigger number, it seems that the simulation is quite nicely spread out. I like it when there's not too many cells crowding the simulation so that we can actually see some forms emerging here. Now, for example, almost half of the cells seem to be dark and this gives rise to many different shapes. I think we'll just watch how this goes for a little while and maybe later try some different settings also. I like it when the simulation space is expanded all the way out. So for example now it's 180 cells and maybe now we're up to something like 100, maybe even a little less. So this can still almost double in size. And when the simulation doesn't collide any walls as it spreads out, it doesn't interrupt with the development of the current pattern on the simulation. Now in the center it seems that there is some sort of shape which seems quite rectangular. Now it was exactly a rectangle and then it changes into something more circular and then the edge seems to get warped and wrapped on itself. This is quite nice looking simulation. Now it seems the snowflake pattern is only in the center or maybe the complexity here is so high that it doesn't actually show. If we had bigger resolution and even bigger size simulation, maybe there would be even more of these snowflake shapes around here. As usual, we can of course view the simulation also in the fuel geometry or galaxy, but I thought that today I might just only use the cube simulation, since if you really want to see some kind of pattern evolving, this is the simplest and best way, in my opinion, to view it. Let's also try another setting. So this was 4, 5 and 15. So maybe with 4 and 5, let's say 10 and 20, this bears some kind of relation to the 4 and 5, and then Let's see for a while how it changes. It seems to be evolving into something quite different 
from the beginning, I think. But let's start from the beginning and see how it differs. I can't really see any, any difference yet, but now I think it has diverged. It somehow goes into this diagonal small with this setting. And also it's quite rectangular, the most thematic pattern here. And also quite interesting looking, I would say. <laughs> there was a nice transition there. Somehow this shape tells me that this tries to be a, some kind of a ball. Also the, what my brain tells me would be the 3D representation of this looks like. It has some kind of shapes coming out of it in the middle and also here these shapes. When you look at this kind of a pattern it somehow feels that the dark parts are some kind of shadow or something and then your mind starts to make the assumptions to build the required shape for this kind of shadows and highlights. Oh, that was a very nice flowery shape there. Before I really tested many different rules and seeds and tried to see what happens, but now I have seen that you just need to make a large simulation and then see it all the way through. And eventually there's going to be something interesting, probably with every rule setting, because the iterations are so many that eventually some kind of pattern will, will emerge which has which lives by the size of the simulation and by the rules. In the beginning it might be something non-geometrical and not nice looking, but eventually it usually finds some kind of harmony or something and then nice shapes start emerging. We had some kind of cross here which tried to grow and then it turned in, a, in on itself somehow or so it looks. I will put the download links for the simulation to the description. It is available for Windows, Android and iOS, so you should be able to get it for your own device, whatever it might be. And this simulation is quite easy to use, I would say. If you watch one of these videos, you will probably get the hang of how to use this. The main thing I'm doing now with this is just going to the rules using some rules which have few neighbors as the birth number, but not too small. Like one and two are usually two small numbers for the birth number, but they can be used as numbers for survival. And then I usually make some kind of island here, and almost always I use the four neighbor mode since it's very good. And then numbers like 12, 15, 16, Usually paired numbers on the large neighbor counts are best, somehow. I haven't maybe even tried so many times with odd numbers, but I kind of feel that the paired numbers will be best, since they seem to reproduce or produce more geometrical patterns than the odd numbers. Or maybe actually when you use odd numbers, you need to view the simulation like this, because it seems to go more diagonally and then maybe from this direction you can better see some kind of shapes, or you can better in interpret the shapes. Also this simulation looks a little bit different when you view it from a 45 degree angle. Your mind starts to focus on different parts of the shapes, I guess. But okay, I think this is all for now. It's already almost 10 minutes and I always ramble on for too long. So have fun testing this out. The links are in the description. Uh, this is all for now and bye.